Welcome to the Financial Forecast chart of the day. Today is March 5 and for today we have Tesla. So let's go to check what's happening with this with this company. Tesla have a very nice movement to the upside starting from the low in 141.24 up to 391.02. Really nice strong movement more than doubling the value of the company and since then that happened on September 2017 since there the company is behaving the price action is behaving totally sideways what happened here what's happening the movement to the upside in this case was something that could be a motor sequence was really fast and strong then depending on the iteration, there is two probable iterations or high probability iterations. One is what the one we are seeing now. And in this case, the corrective sequence needs time. So the instrument could behave random in a sideways situation, just consuming time to balance the motor sequence with the corrective sequence in length, time and speed. That's why we're seeing now Tesla moving upside down, up, down, a moment to the downside, upside, downside, upside, and now downside again. If we try to differentiate the sequence inside the current corrective one or the potential corrective one, Starting from this point, we have one sequence, two, three, four, and a new one is in place. Looking for the attractor, we have the attractor, the blue one is the attractor corresponding to the corrective sequence, okay? calculated based on this wave and the green one, the small green one that is inside the blue attractor is based on this relationship. <clears throat> we have one to three correction, we have the motor sequence, we have the corrective sequence and now we have a complex structure one, two, three could be taking place. So that means that Tesla could move to the green area. This attractor that we will locate in 262.60, 236.27. That is a high probability area for finishing what could be a corrective sequence for the previous movement to the upside. If this is correct and in this area we have a reaction to the upside, then we start having more probabilities of developing new highs, something that is going to be confirmed with the break of 355.54 at this moment. Longer in time, we can get the confirmation earlier, all depends on how the patterns are built and how it's iterating. If we see that we are going to have earnings very soon, it's in May 6, if the earnings work as driver and are below the expectation, the expectation is minus 0 0.39, this could push Tesla to test the key level in 199.83. So the first possibility is this one, we'll reach this area. In any case, we should be reaching this area bounce up to test this 355 and then the market could react with a corrective sequence to continue with a normal movement to the upside and reach the attractor that is around 460 or in this case that's one of the chances in this case let's move to this point we have the bounce before the earnings and then 
move to the downside, test the level, and if break, we should be looking for the attractor. Okay. If the impact of earnings is really negative, so we can have an acceleration of the movement with the earnings, the bounce in the key level to get then the confirmation to the attractor. Another possible setup all depend on the psychology behind the earnings, how they could impact in the investors. But by now, pattern, we know that it's going to the green area, and then we'll continue inside this non-trend zone in the weekly time frame, 355, 199. If we want to check or see trends in lower scale, then we need to go through daily or intraday time frames to see when the trends start developing in this small time frame. In the weekly, this is what we have, non-trend zone in 355, 199. Let's go to check the level if we break to the downside. We should be moving to 168.85, 117.49. What happened is the other iteration we reach the green area. The impact of earnings is really not convincing investors, so we have to bounce up, but we are still trapped in this non-trend zone. This is a limit time for the finish, ideally, of the corrective sequence. When the price action is outside this area, then the next high or low is finding the next trend or giving more probabilities to develop a trend with the next break. If we break to the downside in this case, what this is happening or is telling us, we need to look to the bigger picture. So we need to switch the time frame in this case. And we need to look at the big three waves sequence. One, a corrective in three, third sequence, third wave, sorry, within this long term sequence, and this could be part of this corrective wave. This is going to be confirmed if we start seeing the price action outside the timing, the, the time, the ideal time, and then creating a new low. So in this case, the movement to the downside belongs to a bearish pattern of high degree correcting this long term sequence. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next week.